This is David Kuman here from the Israel Institute of New Zealand. I'm sitting with Dr. Einat Wolf. Einat, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, uh, one of the things that you've you've written um, for people that haven't heard is, is your thoughts on 2334, yes. uh, the United Nations Security Council resolution that New Zealand co-sponsored. Um, so I'm very interested for you to share uh, with everyone uh, your unique perspective on that resolution. So I found in the resolution two things. The resolution took great pains to basically say that Jews have no right in the West Bank, east of the Green Line. They re repeatedly refer to everything east of the 67 lines. So first, as a small aside, I thought that this was actually a good recognition, the first time really that we have it in the Security Council, that everything west of the Green Line is not disputed. And it's important. It's important first for the Jerusalem issue, because even New Zealand still and other countries refuse to put their embassies even west of the Green Line in Jerusalem. So I want to pick up on this. It was sure. a question for later, but you've brought it up. Why do you think that is? And, and what would you tell the New Zealand politicians, especially given we've got a new government now? It's a combination of uh, stupidity, hypocrisy. Uh, much of the world is, continues to be attached to the idea that was proposed by the United Nations in 47 when they proposed partition into a Jewish state and an Arab state, those were the UN words, that Jerusalem and the vast area around it, including Beit Lechem uh, of 100 square kilometers, will be governed internationally. This never happened because the Arabs opened war to prevent partition. They lost the war. And West Jerusalem, which I call humdrum, boring neighborhood, nothing holy, West Jerusalem, where I grew up. There's nothing holy there, <laughs> nothing for people to fight over. That became the sovereign, uh, the sovereign Israeli territory and the capital of Israel. That's where we established our parliament, the government offices, the Supreme Court. There's no reason, and there hasn't been any reason since 1949, to not have embassies there. That's Israel's capital. And no one disputes West Jerusalem. Even the Palestinians don't claim West Jerusalem. East Jerusalem, which is where uh, what I fondly call Insanity Central is, which is the one square kilometer that everyone is excited about, but even that is a bigger area. That part, people ever since 1967, when Israel came to possess it, uh, people call it occupied Palestinian territory. And this is where the hypocrisy comes in. If east of the pre-67 line is Palestinian, and many countries actually have consulates to Palestine in that part of the city, how is the West not Israeli? Um, I, I say choose either 47 or 67. If you choose 47, meaning Jerusalem belongs to no one, then it's not Palestinian, and it's not Jewish, and it's nobody's. But if you choose 67 and you say that the eastern part is Palestinian, then please explain to me how the western part is still not Israeli. So Resolution 2334, by emphasizing that line, that green line, that armistice line, that pre-67 line, and making it so clear that east of the line, Israel, Jews, should have no claim. Something that I dispute, but that resolution was very clear on it. Then please, it's high time that you acknowledge that west of the line, there's really nothing to discuss. Right. But the other thing that I also put in the resolution is very few people are aware that there is a very important version of Palestinian maximalism. Everyone knows what Jewish maximalism is. That's the settlements, the settlements in the West Bank. That's what Resolution 2334 was against. But very few people realize that the Palestinians are very attached to their maximalist vision, whereas only a share of the Jews stand behind the maximalist vision of the settlements, all Palestinians stand behind the maximalist vision of from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. This is why they are very attached to something they call the right of return. 
which means that 8 million Palestinians around the world have the right to the state of Israel within the Green Line. So I say that when Arab leaders say that they support two states, they uh, recognize Israel, you know, how many people around the world say, what do you want? Here, look, a Palestinian leader, Abbas, Arafat, they said they support two states, they said they support, uh, uh, they recognize Israel. What they don't understand is that when a Palestinian leader says they support two states, they recognize Israel, but they insist on this idea of return, they even call it holy, non-negotiable, then the only two states they really support is an Arab state in the West Bank and Gaza and an, another Arab state to supersede Israel. They have never accepted the idea of partition, that the Jewish people have a right to their own state. So what I suggested, that Resolution 2334 needs a sequel if people in New Zealand and their leaders are not to be considered hypocrites, which is to say, okay, you have clearly stated that Jews have no rights east of that line. You even called it almost criminal. So make it very clear that Arab Palestinians have no right west of the line. Call the organization UNRWA that upholds this idea like a settlement. Call for its dismantlement. You talk for the dismantlement of settlements, call for the dismantlement of UNRWA. That's the organization that keeps Arab Palestinian maximalism alive. If you really want peace, and I certainly do, then both Jews and Arabs need to hear the message that they will not have it all. Right now, the Jews are hearing this message. Everywhere we hear the message, you cannot have it all, you will not have the West Bank, you will not have Judea, where the Jews came from, you cannot have settlement. The Jews hear it all the time. And, and we're hearing that we can't now even have Jerusalem. Exactly. Uh, through the, the resolution and exactly. after the US. Precisely. And Arabs never hear the message you will not have Israel within the Green Line. There will be no return. Stop it. You have no rights within the sovereign state of Israel. They never hear that. And if anyone wants to promote peace, I think it might be a good time to start to tell them that.